<laughs> welcome back. So in today's video, what I'm going to do and what you see behind me is my clo closet. That's what we're doing today is a little closet revamp. And then I'm going to go through my clothes. I will go ahead and show you what is working for me and what isn't and what we're going to change and all that good stuff. Okay, let's go. All right, so here's a little up close and personal so you can kind of tell how dark it is in here. Even with the windows, the blinds open, it's just hard to really see all this stuff. Um, the top part, I probably am not going to change much. It's just like, I don't know, sentimental stuff and bullet belts and all that. My shoe storage is fine. I don't mind this. But the real problem <laughs> is down here. It's, it's hard to see. It's a mess. Uh, there's a shirt right there on the floor. I have like this bar thing that goes across, so I hang up pants, which I end up getting lazy and just like throwing them over the thing. And I, I don't know, I, it's just hard to like even see a lot of the stuff. It makes the dresses and other crap in here hard to see. I like never wear the shoes. It's So it's really just like a waste of space. This is the before. And we will work on the after. So this, I'm gonna move this out of the way for you now. So this is what's preventing me from being able to open the closet door all the way. It's all this crap right here. I don't really wanna see my jackets when I close the door. This jacket, I'll be keeping. This sweater, it's a tore up pretty bad, but I'm still gonna keep it. This one, I literally never wear this. And actually it's a little tight on me now, so this I will get rid of. This jacket, this was Luis's. I will be keeping this one. And this jacket, I'm gonna keep it as well. It's still, it's a little tight on me and it's stained, <laughs> which is gross, but it's a nice like light jacket, I guess. So this is a bag that I've had since high school. <laughs> I did sew a Who Killed Spiky jacket patch on it at some point. I will keep this because it is a good size bag that I can take stuff, but it will go somewhere else. Silly pouch I made a few years back. This I will also keep. So now I can get rid of this stupid thing. Now on to the inside of the closet. So like I said, I'm going to get rid of these. Never wear them. These I, I know I'm going to keep, so I guess this is more for show and tell. Oh, it's small on me, but I'm still going to keep it. <sighs> I can't breathe in this thing. Yeah, move my arms. I probably should get rid of this, to be honest, but I'm just not ready to. All right, then we got this white jacket. This one fits a little bit better, although it is still pretty small. I can breathe a little bit. This one, yeah, I can't really move my arms, but I definitely will keep this one. I have this red one. I don't know why I got American colors, but that's what it is. Uh, this one I'll also keep. This one actually fits the best. It's still, I mean, I'm sure you noticed the trend. They're all a little bit small on me. <laughs> Don't know why I bought such little jackets. This one's a little bit better. I can move around just a little bit better. Still keeping keeping this one. Terminal Chaos is a keep. And I have one almost exactly like it. Keep this Gogo -Go Bordello one. I No, I'm actually not going to keep. I also have this Gogo -Go Bordello one that I sewed onto this checkered shirt. I need to see if this even fits me. I guess I'll keep this one because Louise bought this for me when we first started dating, so keep. I forgot to film this one, but this is a keep. It's Colby Jean, my friend's brand. I got this black flag shirt. Not sure if it fits me, but we'll find out. Well, I don't know. I'm gonna keep it for now, but this will probably get ditched in the next effort. And I have this little number type, but I will keep this as well. I forgot to film a little thing for this, but I will also keep this. This is a Banana Republic shirt I upcycled that I got from Buffalo Exchange a long time ago with the, and then I put the Cox bar thing in there. Yeah, keep this New York doll shirt. <sighs> I tried to make this, I dyed it, I bleached and dyed it, and I thought that I could make it, I don't know, a shirt that I like, but it's just, it's not it. So this one I will get rid of. This shirt that I bought at an estate sale a little while back. It was too big. <laughs> and I just don't ever see myself actually sewing it, especially because the armholes are too big. So this I will be selling. Got one of my favorite shirts. I really wish I didn't 
cut up the back like this and I left it the t-shirt but it's still my favorite it's this great uh, vintage Ramon shirt I've had since I was in high school it was my ex-boyfriend's but um he didn't want it and then so I took it <laughs> but it's from the November 1989 tour and uh that was the month and year I was born and I just love it, it has like a bunch of dogs like down here at the bottom I don't know how well you can see this but uh I'm just the blue and the orange and the art graphics on it I love it so much so definitely keeping I actually wore this shirt yesterday this is a keep I've had this shirt for a while hmm. the shirt I don't love it but I will go ahead and keep it for now I do like the cramps and I've had it for a long time so keep got this Eternal Chaos shirt and I don't know. I don't like how I cut up the sides really anymore. But I'll go ahead and keep it for now. This fuck you real shirt I got from the very first one. So the original lineup. So this one I also cut up stupid like the last shirt. Don't know why I did that. Don't particularly love it. But uh, since this is pretty nostalgic, I will keep it. So keep this shirt I got from Hot Topic a long time ago and then I upcycled it and added the chain. Still like this one, so keep it. Sorry for the change of lighting, but uh, it's getting dark and sorry if the previous footage was too dark to see, but moving right along. This is from Coexist Berlin, uh, Indiana. This is also a keep. Also keep, 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 keep. keep. Monster Squad. I'll go ahead and keep it. I don't wear this shirt anymore. It's kind of too tight on me. But I don't know. The graphics are fun. This was probably my favorite year of the whole um, festivals. So I'll keep it for now. Uh, keep for now, I guess. This is the oldest shirt that I have. Uh, that I've or that I've or the longest shirt that I've owned. So I got this when I was in high school and I was like 15 at a Hot Topic. Um, I'm not gonna try it on because it's like literally see-through um, and like ripped all across the dress, but I will keep this. Another uh, Addicted to Chaos. I will go ahead and keep it. I just need to like retie some of these because it's very tight. Tragedy shirt, this is my friend Mouse's band. I don't wear this one too much, but I will go ahead and keep it. I already know about trying this one on, this Becky Bondage shirt. I got it in England, and I do like the print, but the zippers look kind of... I don't like them, really. Uh, so I will sadly get rid of this one. I literally never wear it. H&M shirt that I've added this chaos to. There's, like, maybe a closer view. I'll keep it for now. The Colby Jean shirt, just like the other one, I will keep this one. I already know without trying this one on that I am going to get rid of this subhuman shirt. I will keep this one. It is a little small up here, but keep it for now anyways. Okay, this shirt is actually going to go into a unique pile. Um, it's, I've sewn it too small and I hate that it has this wide neck. So I'm going to actually cut up the logo and I'm going to sew it onto a different shirt. So this will be a Work in progress. Street Walking Cheetah by Shirts and Destroy, Friends brand. I will keep this one as well. Uh, funny story about this, I wore this shirt to the post office once and the guy who works at the post office was like, I thought your shirt was see-through and I think he thought that the cheetah's eyes were nipples. <laughs> we have really close together nipples. But uh, yeah, that's a, that's a fun story I have about wearing this shirt. This one I'll also keep. This one I'm not going to try on because it's way too small. I really do just need to get rid of it. Here's another one of my favorite shirts, the Sermon shirt. I like it because it has a dollar sign instead of, um, I don't know. I forgot what's normally in there. And then it has Richie, which you can barely even see because it's all fucked up. Instead of uh, Tommy, go ahead and put that on. Keep the Circle Jerk shirt I got when I saw them play in Las Vegas. And I was like 16 or something. And of course, keep wildlife shirt, keep little dildos, keep a, another black flag t shirt. This one, probably from Hot Topic. Uh, probably wants to get rid of it, but I think I am gonna keep it. It's definitely kind of small on me now. It's like ripping on the sides because my 
hips are much wider than they used to be, but I don't know, the nostalgia. And it is, I don't know, it's a classic, I guess, so keep, I guess. Keep some motorhead. Keep, keep killer hearts. Keep another addicted to chaos shirt. I like this shirt a lot, but it's just like, I don't know, there's something about it I don't like. I think this cream color just doesn't look that weird on me. I was thinking maybe I, I probably should dye it a different color, so. But I'm keeping it. Another fuck you rule shirt, this one I will uh, sell. Here's another oldie, another one from high school. I think I actually got this like the end of junior high, end of eighth grade. I was like 14. The Gliza stitching came out on the side. But yeah, this is a keep. It's number 66. It's a little tight, but I will go ahead and keep this one. I'm not gonna try on this one, the Scober Bedella shirt, because I just need to get away from this like cut up style that I did. So I will sell. This Bad Amber shirt, I will go ahead and sell. TV Tragedy shirt uh, that my friend Mouse gave me, I will sell, unfortunately. I do really like the logo and everything, but it is too small for me. <laughs> I got the Street Brat shirts. Uh, I literally never wore this. I think I sewed it too small. I don't know. I didn't really like the way I sewed it, but so I will sew this one. I don't wear this one much, but I will keep it. Uh, I'll keep this one as well. Five Raiders. I got this one they played here in Tulsa a few years ago. No. I think this one I actually will get rid of because it's pretty small. Infrared shirt. This one's probably about the same fit as that other one, but I will keep this one. I got this when I saw them play at Punk Rock Bowling and... I want to say 2016, 2015, something like that. And then I have this Rebellion shirt. I literally never wear it. But because uh, this was like probably the only time I'll ever go to Rebellion, uh, I will keep it. This little number I actually made. And I will keep this. This came from Knit Punks for a trade. Um, I'll just put this on over this shirt. This I will also keep. I already know this is too small, so I will get rid of this one. Another Knit Punks shirt. Also keep this little number I made as well, which is a little tight, but I will keep this one also. You know what? I never wear this. I'm, I'll just go ahead and uh, sell it. So this top I got from Buffalo Exchange many moons ago. Even without a bra, it's just like, it's not gonna work. I think it's time to get rid of this. It just does not fit me. This I'm not gonna put on, but I will keep it. Got a Fred Perry shirt. I said shirt, I meant polo. Uh, I was gonna get rid of it because it is really tight on my arms, but I'm gonna keep it for now. Got this little number the last time I was in California, like 2017. This one I will also keep. I have this dress, I actually got this recently. I need to shorten it, I'm not gonna try it on. This is another project piece. It's just really baggy on me. If you saw my Depop video a <laughs> few bit like a year ago or whatever, uh, then you would have saw this. And of course know that I will keep it. This shirt my friend Peyton gave me after I did the uh, hair show in OKC a few years ago. Not gonna button it all the way up, but I will keep it. This shirt, however, I only wore it once to like dress up as David Bowie. I tried sewing it, um, not very well. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, it's kind of cool, but I'm gonna get rid of it. I've not actually worn this, but uh, I'm excited to wear it at my brother's wedding. So let me, let me show you. Again, I'm not gonna button it up, but isn't it so good? I think it's so good. I love this little jumpsuit. It like fits me like perfectly. So yeah, this is a keep. <laughs> Got this Miracle Eye photo romper. This is also a keep. I love this thing. I've worn it several times. I really have no idea if this button-up shirt fits me anymore. I bought this in like 2008 or something when I was like, I don't know, needed something to wear for job interviews and stuff when I was first trying to find jobs. And I've worn it a lot to like other professional jobs and like funerals and stuff, but I think I'm ready to part with this one. Also another shirt I bought to be professional in, and I just don't think I'm ever gonna wear it again. Yeah, I do kind of like it. I like this frilly stuff, but yeah, I'm not a great person, so I will sell this one. I'm sure my grandma actually got me. It's kind of cool. It has like a zipper. So yeah, it has little elbow pads. This I will keep. I got this dress. If you saw, again, the Depop video, you would have seen this one, so I will keep it. This mohair sweater I got in England. I think I'm gonna get rid of it though. I literally never wear it, and it's just, it feels really itchy, but it is really nice. It's just... 
I just never wear. This vest, I never wear vests. I just don't. And uh, yeah, I'm ready to sell this one. I think I'm ready to get rid of this one too. I'll put it on to show you. It's just too small and I don't really like the band. Well, I mean, I like the bands that I put on it, but they're not like, I don't know. I just, I gotta get rid of it. This vest, however, even though I don't wear it, I will still keep it. I don't know. I like it. I mean, I like I said, I don't wear it, so I probably will set up eventually, but just not ready today. This dress I wore after my wedding. I changed into this to like dance to hang out in, and it's, it's not very cute. I don't know. So I will go ahead and sell this. This dress I bought at Ross like a long time ago. Let's see if it even fits me. Honestly, this dress is still pretty cute. Sometimes it's nice to have dress up stuff for a special occasion. And I got this dress at Buffalo Exchange again. Uh, yeah, like right here. It's just way too tight at the back, like across my back. So sadly, oh, it's like tight in my armpit. I love this dress. It's so cute, but yeah, I can't wear it anymore. It's way too tight on me. This Dickie's dress. We'll see if this even fits me. This actually looks better on me than it did a few years ago. I don't know, I'm gonna keep this dress. Oddly enough, when I first got this dress, I didn't like how skin tight it was. Granted, I kind of wish it was shorter. Look at that. It is really tight. It does kind of bother me that you can see every looking great. But I don't know, I still kind of like it. I don't know. I had to cut these slits because it like didn't fit me. Like it literally was like this. And like, how can you walk? Like, I can't walk like that. I'm gonna keep it for now. We'll see. But yes, we finally got through all of the tops. And you can see the disaster that's down here. We can move on to the pants. Keep, keep. Not sure if these are gonna fit me, but surprisingly these fit me right now. I guess I'm gonna keep them. Honestly, I never wear them. I think I'm just gonna get rid of them all. These pants, I'm not gonna try the rest of these on, um, but I will keep these ones. These ones I recently got for a disco party and I will also keep. There's my other mask. And these all will also keep, even though they're a little small. And then the stuff on the bottom of the closet. Uh, I never wear this, so I will go ahead and get rid of this Blink 77 shirt. Sandals, literally this one's broken, so these I gotta throw away. Oh, this little tank top. I'll keep this, even though it's kind of basic. It's good to have basics, I guess. I never wear these. I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure. Oh god. These are literally so moldy. Okay, these gotta go in the trash. They're kind of moldy too. Another shirt. I will keep this one. These boots I don't really wear, but I will keep them. <laughs> uh, I don't wear these, but I'll, I'll keep them anyways. And then these shoes. Uh, I think the last time I wore these were that fuck you rule. Oh my god, the like shoelaces are... Like the boots seem fine, but the... Shoelaces are moldy as well. But I will get rid of these. That clears out this portion. I'll go ahead and clean it very well. And then start putting the shit back and assemble and all that good stuff. So yeah, let's get to it. Next step is assembling this wire shelf I have. I'll go ahead and put this together. this light off of Amazon to make this brighter. It probably doesn't look too bad with the ring light coming in, but normally the blinds are closed and it's pretty dark in here, so we will fix that. The light, it has this magnetic strip is what I'm gonna use, and there's a sticky thing. So I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put this. So I'm gonna kind of stand on that little lip. There we go. So that solves that problem. Let me also just kind of show you 
where we're at with everything because it's very weirdly shaped. Darby and Charlie, but I went ahead and requando folded all of my pants, so these will go in those wire baskets. Okay, <laughs> so it's probably hard to tell because I'm wearing the, the same clothes as I was last night, but it's another day, and uh, it was getting late. My husband had to go to bed, but I'm going to go ahead and finish up this project now, even though I feel like dog shit because endometriosis is still kicking my ass but that's beside the point we're gonna finish off this closet makeover yeah so let's get to it so in this drawer like i mentioned this is where a lot of my other clothes live i'm gonna move basically everything that's like outfit type clothes uh if that makes sense back into the or put them in the closet in the wire baskets Except for, I have some t these like little tops. These I'm gonna hang up because them being in here, I don't really remember them. And then here are my shorts, most of them. So those will also go into the wire basket here. And then in this drawer, this chaotic mess, lives swimsuit pieces. So these I will also put into the wire baskets as well. And then in my nightstand, I have some other type, type like accessory things, bandanas, tights, and some long socks and things like that. So those will also get moved into those wire baskets as well. Alright, so this is the closet makeover. Um, sorry that a lot of the filming I did wasn't the best. My tripod broke and um, lighting wasn't the best, but I am glad to get my closet more organized and purge a bunch of stuff. I'm getting rid of all of this. One jacket, one sweater, two vests, uh, two pairs of pants, 24 shirts. I think that's, oh, and two pairs of shoes that I don't have my arms right now. Yes, yeah, so definitely a lot of stuff I'm getting rid of, and it's much easier to sort through. The light helps a lot. Um, I love this shelf at the bottom. I can fit so much more things inside of here, and yeah, hopefully this wasn't too boring. One of the next videos I'll be doing is making over this entire space, which will probably take me a while, but yeah. Uh, that's it for me on this one. Okay, bye!